What's up guys, AFC Dino here, welcome to a new video. Um, I'm gonna enter the queue already, but like I said, we are currently... Um, I want this choice scarf, that's what, that's what I'm playing for. <laughs> I want the choice scarf. Uh, it's free, so might as well take it. But yeah, I'm gonna be using the Gravity Garchomp team again. Uh, uh, I'm gonna have remember against whenever I face a Garchomp lead and have Clefable in, I'm gonna teleport on the turn. Uh, after the turn, they use Stealth Rock. Basically, after my trick, I'm gonna teleport. Because I, they are usually expecting the Soft Boy, almost likely. So, I'm, I'm actually not considering people thinking it has Soft Boy, because Soft Boy is a normal move on Clefable. It's a regular move. Uh, it's a common move. So I can definitely see why they're not trying to kill Clefable with whatever they have in. And they obviously don't know about my set yet because this team is quite new still. Um, but I'm going to keep that in mind. Because against that high ranking guy, if I did teleport on the Tyranitar switch, I think I would have won easily because it would have given me so much uh, with our jump in. And look at his team, okay. I mean, I think Garchomp just destroys him if I get gravity up. So I'm gonna leave Clefable. Also don't think it's, I don't think it's Taunt. Um, all bad. These stall teams are kind of pissing me. <laughs> Like Espion actually allowed stall. <laughs> and yeah, this is a stall team, because it's definitely a bulky uh it's a bulky Espion. Melee's Espion, I can use Trick immediately. And then we can use teleport, so it's actually fine. Just trick here. It doesn't matter, because I trick against anything on his team. Nothing enjoys the sticky barb. Let's see if he doesn't go. Like I, I was expecting teleport there. That's why I have rocks up now. And now I can teleport. Assuming he wants to bring in Golbet, right? Get in this guy. I'm just gonna use Taunt uh, in case he wants to go Espion on the Glare. This is fine as well. I actually don't mind losing a superior. Come on, that crit actually meant... Okay. At least I get in guard chomp and claim a kill myself. But this way he cannot defog. Wow, he actually took that? That's insane. He might just go into Weavile to pursue trap me. However, my my inferno wins pretty much. Um, why are you doing this again? Because I kill you. Oh well, I'll take this. <laughs> I'll take this. I think Mandibus is kind of expendable in this game. Doesn't beat Weavile and Magnuson and Je Jellicent is still an Icicle Spare Resist. Kind of crazy that he did Volt Switch, but... He double crits me, actually. 
kind of insane. But I get to see what Weevil will lock himself into. Because this... Sh I should win this with Infernape. I should win this. So what I'll do is go into this. And I can just U-turn for free. Assuming he wants to bring in Espion. I'm just not sure why he tried to get up rocks. He should have tried to eliminate my Weavile first. And uh, my Garchomp first. Because now I U-turn and if he goes Espion I just get in Garchomp and click Earthquake. And once Espion is gone... Oh, it is fine. I have a bunch of sex as well. I can definitely see a pursuit coming my way, but is it even bad? Because I can just fire punch win at this point. And he doesn't go for pursuit. Cool. I get to click teleport. We get an Infernip again. Then I click U turn. And there's the Espion. Let's see how much this does, because this might be bulky. I think that's a bulky Espion, because Espion is really squishy. Only doing 45. I'm pretty sure it's bulky. Yeah, that's definitely bulky, so I just Earthquake. You can protect, but... <laughs> This Earthquake is definitely killing you. Choice Bandit Earthquake. Bye. We've asked to come in on rocks again. Does try to pursue me. Doesn't end up working out. Eh? Yeah. And my opponent forfeits. Okay, cool. Um, is that enough for the choice scarf? It's actually not enough. Okay, so we gotta play another one. I just want that choice card, man. But that was a pretty cool victory. Like, running Clefable without a healing move <laughs> might seem strange. I actually haven't used Gravity this game either. I wonder if we even need Gravity. But I just like it for the... When we pull it off. <laughs> Choice Scarf Ape actually does de do decently well. What do we have here? Okay. Oof. I earthquake. I can't earthquake spam on him. Okay, this time, I'm gonna expect the Garchomp lead. <laughs> I don't know if he leads Garchomp, but he leads Ape. Uh. Okay, so you have Jancy, Napoleon, and Infernape as a, a stout rocker, so don't do me like this. <laughs> don't do me like this. 
And please don't ref don't go for stealth rock. Cool. I'm gonna click Toxic on this turn. As we catch our dragon, awesome. Why do I always miss Toxic, dude? That's... Why do I always miss Toxic? It's actually insane. We want con we we do want config because we can't. Oh, that's specs. Holy crap! Dude, if I hit that toxic, it's always the most crucial once you miss. But now I can get in Clefable. I'm even gonna U-turn in case it's Rocky Helmet, because then I take chip, then I have chip on him. Let's see if it's Rocky Helmet. But we get in Clefable, and he doesn't touch us. Let's go for Toxic Spikes. I do want to defuck them away later. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna use Trick Air. Because he might go for an extra layer. And just having the sticky barb on this Pokemon uh, means that I can easy ha have an easier time knocking this out, actually. He used knockoff. He has sticky barb on him. I'm gonna click Stealth Rock, though. Goes for an extra layer. I, I click Stealth Rock in case he wants to switch here. But I will always teleport there. So it's pain split, knockoff, toxic spikes. So I will decide to defog now. If he knocks me off, that's fine. And now I can U-turn on him. I think I just got superior. And click Leaf Storm. What happened to the sticky barb? Why did I receive what? Are you kidding me? Do I, not, do I have a sticky barb on my? Oh God. Okay, I actually have to read up on Sticky Barb. So Ow! What the heck, man? I have to read up on, read up on Sticky Barb. He crits me. Are you serious? Okay, I'm gonna win here. Fucking hell, man. I'm gonna use gravity. And now I'm gonna use this as a sack, I guess. And I'm gonna bring in Garchomp, click Earthquake, and claim a kill. I'm actually gonna lose this game, I feel. At least I'm gonna have two eight KO this, but man, that crit is actually nice because I take less poison damage. 
Because otherwise I have to take an extra poison uh, hit. By the way, if I hit the Toxic on Hydreigon at the beginning... Man... It's only regular poison, so... It is manageable, but... Oh, it's on to me. I really want to defog, but what can I even defog on? Gravity return to normal. So, the pos on a positive note, the close combat is looking really good versus him. But I do need to defog. I need to find an opportunity to defog. Am I second this? Or do I sex superior? I'm gonna sex serp. I'm gonna click lair. Because I do need to defog. Use Claire here in case he goes into a dragon or something. So now I can use Empoleon to go for the defog. I'm gonna defog, I'm not gonna roost. Oh, actually, need to roost perhaps now because of the sticky barb. With Stealthbrook, we can deal with. I don't think that's a problem. But how the fuck does Sticky Barb work then? Does it, do you get it on contact? Attacker making contact can receive it. Ah, uh, I, I actually didn't know that. I actually didn't know that. I'm gonna keep roosting and defogging on the rocks. I'm gonna basically wait to, for him to knock me out. Unless he does this. Okay. If he clicks Ice Beam, it's actually really bad. I do live though. I don't live. Okay. <laughs> I think I lose. I should have sacked Garchomp earlier, I think. Oh. Um, you actually give me a chance now. Actually, give me a chance because this was the thing I couldn't knock out. Which makes me wonder if his Infernip is choice carved. But I can at least kill whatever he brings in now. Everything that isn't Infernip. So if that move on contact, please, you turn on me then. Please? 
Why does he not get the sticky barb? I don't get it. Why does he not get the sticky barb? Okay. This is actually the Pokemon I couldn't kill, so I'll take it. I couldn't kill it in one hit. Oh, I actually did kill it. Oh, that's, that was an offensive Empoleon then. However, though, uh, get, get in jelly. Jelly, jelly. Doesn't matter. I'm, I'm going hard on the, the Chansey. Actually, I can just taunt here. Don't have to go hard ape. Because he doesn't touch me anyway. And I poison Infernape. Unless you have Thunder Punch, you cannot kill me. Yeah, okay. But it's already established that he cannot kill me. My opponent just choked away the game by switching in the guard job. I still don't know if anyone can explain to me how that sticky barb actually works. Because I suddenly got this sticky barb with you turning, but he clicked close comment on me, which is a contact move, and he didn't get the item. Oh, wait. That, that, that is because he knocked off my item. I didn't have an item, so I touched him. But if you have an item. Ah, I see. That's how it works. I'll use Wish. I'm actually gonna go directly into Infernape now. If anything, his Infernape is gonna take damage, so it doesn't really matter. He's not gonna click U-turn at this point. <laughs> Just in case he's choice card right? I'm getting the chip on him. Click Toxic on the chance of coming in. And again, we just click Taunt and then I spam Hex. He's using Wish as well. I'm gonna play it safely here. Now he goes for Flare Blitz and yeah. They kept the Cursed Body on him, right? Lair Blitz was disabled. Still not gonna bring in uh still not gonna bring in Infernape because he might not be choiced. Maybe he's just bluffing it, but I think he is. But he decides to forfeit. And I spent a lot of time playing against that player. <laughs> but we did get our choice scarf, but I can actually get in another game for you guys because uh, we are below 30 minutes so i'm gonna pause the video and we get in the next for game uh, okay <sighs> let's get in this game we already got the choice scarf so i don't really mind i don't care about the ranking okay 
So this game as well, if we can get off a gravity earthquake, destroys him. He does have a star meter, so we gotta be mindful. But yeah, get. I'll lead the game off with Clefable, expecting the Garchomp lead. Maybe he leads Scizor. Or actually leads Star. Okay. I'm just gonna click Trick here. It would be cool if he goes Chansey or... Or go Scizor. So we get the trick on this. Leftovers. He gets a sticky barb. Oh. You just go for Stealth Rock here. Okay. Cool. You have Sword Stance. But I have Rocks off. I'm gonna teleport here. Bug bite. It's gonna do a lot. Another fairy type. I have my leftovers, so. I can't try. Where do I go, Garchomp? Yes. Dragonite and. A Dragon. But I have a Mandibus, so. And I've stalled Rock up, so I'm just gonna click her quicker. I don't have to predict there. You can go into one of your flying types. And my opponent decides to stay in, so Scissor is gone. Surprised that he didn't bullet punch me, but uh, that's that's dead, I guess. I'm gonna bring in Jellicent to lock the rapid spin. And we can just click Hex. He's allowed to kill me, but I at least get off one Hex. And maybe I get the Curse Party on Thunderbolt, which would be cool. Cool, and now I can just knock him out. If he goes High Dragon, that's fine as well. Actually, maybe it's better to click Toxic, because I'd rather die versus this. I don't want him going high dragon because this, this play allows me to keep up rocks. If that makes sense. This play actually allows me to keep up rocks. And I can just go into Infernape now because there's no way he's gonna click. Uh... Maybe he's click Psychic though, but. Oh, damn. But he's left over, so maybe I live. Never mind. I didn't think about psychic. But it is what it is. So that means he's gonna keep up rocks. Okay. Then I'll go for an alternative play. I just threw away my Infernape. He's gonna die on the next turn. Yeah, I'm gonna recover here. In case he tries to rapid spin again, he clicks Psychic. So be it. At least Army dies and I keep up rocks. And I go into my Garchomp here. Does High Dragon. And it all depends on this. Is this guy Choice Carved? I can actually find out by going. I'm in the bus here. Because if he's Choice Carved, I don't want to lose Garchomp. He did stay in. He might also be a Bomberry. Okay, so he, he isn't Choice Carved. Really important to know. Because now I can Dragon Climb. And a Bomb Barrier is not going to save him. Because he took too much damage from U-Turn. So even if he's a Bomb Barrier, he's going to die. I don't see Leftovers on him. That's why uh, I did stay in. But uh, he dies there. He has to go into his own Guard Chomp to win the Speed Tie. 
I can just sack. Um, I already tricked his scissor. So I can just sack this Pokemon. It's not useful. <laughs> Even Dragon Rushes. I can just go into Superior. I can go for the Glare. And he lets me glare the Dragon Knight, which is awesome. So I can go... I still have a pretty much full HP Mandibuzz in the back. He tried to Dragon Claw. Holy shit, that did a lot. <laughs> but I should be faster than them, so I can just Roost there. And if he dragon dances, I think I'm still outspeeding him. And he doesn't knock me out from full anyway. But then it's gonna depend on superior connecting an attack on the guard chomp. Maybe gets paralyzed, so and I still outspeed him. We can just foul play the, the guard chomp. gonna u-turn on this get in serp it's probably gonna click toxic but he's already at two at kale range so can literally go into my guard chomp and spam real quick. Because at that HP, this is definitely a 2 kill. Garchomp comes in, but we have Earthquake as well. I'm gonna stay in. No, so there's no point in switching here. Just need to get the damage off. Maybe I win the speed time, but even if I don't, he misses Dragon Rush. Are you Choice Scarfed? Are you actually Choice Scarfed? Because that could actually... He, he could actually win if he's Choice Scarfed. If he flinches my... both my Pokemon. We'll see. Still has to connect all of them. But I think he's choice carved. Doesn't flinch me and I get to kill him here. Cool. Okay. <laughs> A bit stressful, but we uh, managed to pull it up. I don't think gravity is necessary on this team though. It's just a cool idea, but <laughs> I used it a few times, but in a lot of cases gravity wasn't really necessary. So maybe, maybe running up boil over gravity or toxic over gravity, making Clefable a bit more useful. But still, I have to say Clefable does do the job really well. And if they don't have a lot of time users, we can you, you, we can most of the time lead Clefable. And yeah, in a lot of cases, it can trick. It's pretty nice. But yeah, I guess. Uh, we learned something new uh, today, getting a sticky barb. So if you actually don't have an item and you touch a Pokemon with sticky barb, you actually st you actually receive a sticky barb. That's really good to know. Because otherwise, if I knew this before, and I would never click U-turn on the Kofagrigas. But yeah, that's beside the point. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, make sure to give me some thumbs up. And leave a comment down below, join our Discord server, subscribe to the channel, check out the, the, the poker paste on Patreon, it's linked down below. And follow me on Instagram, with that all being said though, I hope you have a wonderful day, and I hope to see you guys in the next video.